Hello, I'm Michael from Gypsy Jazz Australia. Um, my website is www.gypsyjazz.com.au. Today I'm introducing you to the Alves de Puga guitar. I've just received this, um, this particular guitar, his D670 model Alves de Puga, which is made by Jean-Louis Alves. He works out of a small village in southwest France. Um, his son Timo, I believe, is also currently being trained to take over as the next generation of the Alves de Puga Luthier family. Um, Jean-Louis has been making guitars for over 20 years down there and does specialise primarily in Selma style guitars. Um, and he also um, goes to a lot of effort to hand make just about every aspect of these guitars as well. Um, I've got to say one of the things that Deuce does stand out about the Alves de Puga guitars is their price point. Um, this particular one comes into Australia being sold for under two and a half thousand dollars. Um, so for a handmade luthier built guitar made in France um, by somebody with plenty of experience, um, it is exceptional value. Perhaps it doesn't have some of the finishings of your more expensive guitars, but I do, must say he does um, spend his time, effort and, and the money in the right areas to create an exceptional instrument that is very good value for money. Um, one of these features is rosewood is actually one of your tonal woods that you would find in a more expensive guitar quite often. Um, interestingly, Jean-Louis opted to use the rosewood on the inside of the guitar. So if you have a look at some, the internals got that beautiful dark rosewood feature. Um, but then on the outside is used sycamore. So a very different combination of those woods. And I haven't come across another guitar that's been made with sycamore before, but um, it's beautifully featured. And, um, and as a tonal wood, it stands up, it, um, it sounds beautiful. On the top is used your solid um, spruce top. Um, again, it's sort of um, lightly, um, lightly uh, tarnished and varnished that one. So the whole instrument's just made with a very, very soft um, nitrous matte finish. So those woods are allowed to sing and, um, and stand up for themselves. So all up, um, like I say, he's put the money in the right areas. He's got a, um, a French made uh, Selma tail piece and he's got the Grover three and a plate tuners on the top with a um, mahogany neck and your ivory um, uh, uh, soundboard. Um, there's a couple of other features that are worth mentioning. One is um, he's certainly taken the effort to create some beautiful bindings on the guitar. If you have a look at the outside rims and also internally, um, the guitar looks beautiful and he's um, spent a lot of effort in getting those right. But also, I mean, I haven't come across this before in, a, in any of the summer guitars I've imported or summer style guitars. This one's actually got, if you have a look at taper, towards the, um, the neck of the guitar and then some very light pliers just on the bottom of it, which is lovely for aesthetics, but I'm sure also adds to the, to the tone and texture of the notes I'm hearing come through from the instrument as well. Um, so that's just a little bit about um, Jean-Louis Alves and his brand name Alves de Puga guitars. Um, nice to get something different in and I'm really enjoying sort of getting to know these luthiers and, and also introducing their instruments as something different. Um, that's been played in Australia and I don't think anybody's probably come across one of these before so also very exciting. Um, thanks for your time and I look forward to meeting you soon. All the best now.